Hi, here we are on another topic. I love getting questions, comments, emails um, from people that I know on the street, at the kids' school. It makes me so happy because it, it, it kind of like evokes this inspiration in, in me to, to reach out and share more. And I could do it by myself anyway, but I don't think I have enough ego strength to actually like put out videos just because I love doing them. No, I, I mean, I could do it, but it's like, it's, it's, it's not there. I mean, I really do it because I feel like what I know, I want other people to know because I want them to be successful and happy and feel good about themselves. So anyway, I just want to say thank you. I really like it. And um, it gives me a place to be motivated from. It's that, you know, higher purpose. So one of the questions that um, I get a lot, and it's such a good one, and I speak to this issue because most people, I mean, some people say I want to build muscle. Some people say um, I'm too skinny and you know, I need help, but I speak to the majority of people. Most people want to lose weight or they just want to tone. They don't necessarily want to build a ton of muscle. You know, if the guys want to do that, I, I refer them to somebody, who, you know, to this guy that I know, and he's a photographer and, and a good friend of mine, and he has a master's in kinesiology, and he has big, huge muscles, and, you know, he's ripped and shredded, and he, you know, I feel like he can motivate those guys. If I train those guys, it's a distraction. We just talk. I'm not doing them any good, but I do like helping them with their diet. If they want to, like, be accountable to me, I like having men check in. So, we're already a minute into this. I want to address this. There are a few answers to this question. So I'm going to address one angle because each answer requires a little bit of explanation. So speaking to what I was saying before, somebody wants to know, how do I lose weight and then keep skin firm afterward? You know, how do I not get saggy skin? There are many answers to that. The first one, I think, you know, I just wing this, so I, I don't even know what I'm going to talk about when I start this. I feel like you guys are my friends. So the first answer is if you start losing weight, weight, you really should be measuring muscle. So I do muscle and fat percentage and BMI. I don't even care about the darn scale because you can gain weight and tighten up and lose sizes. So if you're, let's say, losing sizes and you want your skin to stay firm and supple, that's one of the reasons why I lessened over time and I realized the importance of lessening carbohydrates which only should be eaten as a condiment. The doctor has been saying this for many years. I've heard him talk to clients before I started doing what I was doing so I didn't you know go copy somebody's book. I don't even read other people's books but I mean it's nice to do. It's just I kind of focus on what I do and what I've learned. So I feel What's worked best is I love carbs, but I use carbohydrates as a condiment. A condiment is one or two tablespoons. After that, it's not a condiment anymore. So my oatmeal, I make a packet and then I put it, I cut it in half and add a bunch of water and coconut oil. So my answer is, one of the first things is if you go fat free, your skin needs to stay moist and supple. And I, I eat foods rich in fat for that reason. So I lessen my carbohydrates. I completely switched my ratio of fats. Yesterday I told you in the video um, that I probably taken about 70 grams of fat a day, but I'm on maintenance, I'm not losing. I keep my, I've been actually increasing my body fat because um, I think it's more attractive. It's beautiful to have curves and be a woman. But that being said, um, I have about, about like a teaspoon of coconut oil a day. I take flax, I like eat flax seeds, eat hemp seeds, eat chia seeds. Um, take in, probably I do about 12 almonds a day. So I get a, uh, I do uh, organic raw cocoa nibs every day. All of these things have fat and they all add up. So, um, and good for that, that I do it on purpose. I, I, if you, I take fish oil, I'm allergic to fish, so I can't eat fish. I get anaphylactic shock. So I drink probably four or five tablespoons of fish oil per day the best kind. Um, so my sense is my first answer for this, I'll do a different video because clearly I talk too long, um, is increase your fats, lower your carbohydrates. You won't feel feel starving in the morning when you wake up for food. You wake up and you, you let's say, um, uh, you eat your breakfast of like maybe eggs if you like eggs and a couple extra whites. Take your fish oil, you know, you can take capsules and take your CLA, take your flax and your borage. So you get nice and full. You have protein and fats and your body's burning fats right away. Um, and you'll find you won't be craving carbohydrates so much or sugars if you do that. So that's my first answer. 
it's ridiculously long, but I liked talking. And yesterday's video uh, just completely, my hair was so damaged, I went and got it cut, by the way. And now I'm in shock and I think I look like a boy, it's so short. So, <laughs> welcome to my world. I feel like I gained 100 pounds and I got cankles and braces. That's how I feel right now. All right, have a great night, you guys.